honored guests, ladies and gentlemen, good evening, magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. Bataan is deeply honored to host the workshop on fiscal management through transparency and reforms, which ended today in the senior finance officials meeting, which starts tomorrow. We sincerely hope that the delegates will find our historic province to be the ideal forum for them to meet the challenge of addressing the regional macroeconomic and financial issues as well as domestic and regional financial policy priorities. We are with the entire Filipino people who earnestly hope and pray that the goals and objectives of the FMP will be met knowing that its success will lead to the broad-based development which is both sustainable and equitable in the APEC region for each country to enjoy inclusive economy towards a better world. But it is certainly not us, not for us to delve in this weighty initiatives of the APEC finance minister's process. Tonight, it is our self-imposed mission to momentarily take your mind and attention away from what you will be doing in the next two days here in Bagatbanan. Helping us immensely in fulfilling this mission is the very place we are in, the Las Casas Filipinas de Acosar, a heritage park. Las Casas aims to bring, to bring you back to the 18th century Philippines. It showcases 27 houses of old, once owned by the elite of their time and place, carefully and painstakingly transported from various places brick by brick, reconstructed and built for us to see them once again standing proudly and gloriously as before. For your entertainment, we have prepared a cultural show with the theme, Legacy. This will include another winning performance of El Gama Penumbra, the first grand prize winner of the recently concluded Asia's Got Talent competition, as we all know, the group won popular acclamation because of the unique and socially relevant message they impart in their performance, which is care and concern for the environment. We will be listening to the songs of Koro Makal Bambikin, a musical ensemble of the little children of our indigenous people here in Bataan. We will also be hearing the music of the Chamber Choral of the Bataan State University, and of course, the Pangkat Kawayan of the Polytechnic University of the Philippines. We also hope that you will find the time to venture out and explore Bataan. Not as famous as Boracay, but we do have beaches which are just as pristine for jet skiing, windsurfing, boat riding, and of course, swimming. As a peninsula, we are facing the South China Sea to the west, the Subic Bay to the northwest, and the Manila Bay to the east. To name a few, we have the Montemar Beach Resort here in Baga, the Kamaya Coast in Mariveles, and the Anvaya Cove in Morong, which now boasts of having the best new golf course in Southeast Asia. Inland, we have natural water springs, falls, and they are all yours to discover and explore. We, we are, of course, part of world history. During the Second World War, Bataan was the place of choice of General Douglas MacArthur for the Filipino-American forces to make their final stand against the invading army. It was a valiant stand against a vastly superior force which led to the infamous Death March. April 9 of every year is Bataan Day, a national holiday in the Philippines. It was in commemoration that a national shrine was built on the very place where the last battle was fought. Known as Mount Samat, just a few kilometers away from here, the shrine is a must-see for tourists on a historical pilgrimage. Bataan is the only province in the Philippines that hosts two free courts and several economic zones. 
the very popular Subic Bay Metropolitan Authority, or SBMA in the north, the Freeport area of Bataan, or FAB, in the southernmost tip of the peninsula, which is the fastest growing Freeport right now, the Philippine National Oil Company Industrial Park in Imay, the government arsenal, the first defense economic zone in Southeast Asia, the Hermosa Economic Zone, and the Morong Economic Zone. These industrial areas together with our local government units are the main engines of growth which provide the much needed jobs and other business opportunities for our people. In terms of accessibility, our province is but a few hours away from the international airports and seaports in Manila, Subic, and Clark. Traversing mostly paved roads through expressways, visitors will be instantly awed by the sight of vast expanse of green fields, forests, and mountains. Entering Bataan is like entering the heart of its friendly people. No one gets lost in our province because it is the nature of our folks to go out of their way to welcome and accommodate visitors. It is, therefore, with great pride and honor that on behalf of all the people of Bataan that we extend to all of you our warmest welcome. Thank you very much, and please enjoy the evening. Thank you, Dr.